but I think I'm really qualified and ready to serve every child in Seattle Public Schools. That's a pledge Eden Mack doesn't take lightly in her run for Seattle School Board Director, District 4. She's worked for the past four years as an education activist and has served as legislative chair for the Seattle Council of Parent, Teacher, and Student Associations. Plus, with three kids in Seattle schools, which cut about 50 classroom positions last year to balance the budget, Mac knows where public education is falling short. We've got lots of challenges. We have lots of challenges, not the least of which is funding. Mac won 70% of the vote in an August primary with seven candidates and has raised about $18,000 for her campaign. She's endorsed by six of the seven current school board directors, the King County Democrats, the Seattle Times, and the Stranger newspaper. We have a long history of policy advocacy, um, lots of connections with folks that are doing the work. Mac co-founded Washington's Paramount Duty, a grassroots group that puts pressure on state lawmakers to fulfill the McCleary mandate to fully fund basic education. I believe we need uh, qualified, experienced, dedicated um, school board directors that understand policy in our district. Beyond that, Mac's top issues include improving equity in a school system that ranks fifth worst in the U.S. when it comes to the achievement gap between white and black students. We need more buildings. Mac is also concerned about school capacity issues as the city of Seattle continues to grow. And she's hoping to expand some programs that help kids of all learning levels. We have a lot of great work going on, but we don't have a good roadmap of what those things are, who they're serving, and um, how we can improve upon them. Herbert Komet Jr. says he'd be a big improvement for the Seattle School Board. I'm running because the school board needs a professional educator to be on it. Komet says he has 43 years of experience in 11 countries as a teacher, principal, ESL program manager, and common core specialist. No candidate in this race can compare to me as an educator, and in fact, none of them have the educational qualifications and credentials I have. Komet earned about 8% of the vote in the August primary. Financial reports show he has raised no money for his run for the District 4 seat and has no endorsements supporting his campaign. I'm not a politician. I'm an educator. Komet says he's an independent, nonpartisan candidate and says he wants to bring change to what he calls an ineffective school board of directors. They don't make any input, they don't make any effort to say, we have the knowledge, we have the experience, we have the information to really make Seattle schools work. Komet lists dozens of priorities on his platform, including reducing the pay of the next superintendent and finding new ways to reduce Seattle's high school dropout rates. They lose 25% of their students. That statistic alone tells you something's wrong with the school system. Komet says if elected, he'd call for an audit of all school district special programs to see if they're truly needed and would work to provide more innovative skills to Seattle teachers. Learner-centered, learner-interaction-based classroom methodologies, and that's something that the school board needs to authorize and mandate. So, is it time for an educator who says his teaching experience is the answer for the school board's District 4 seat? Nobody can match my credentials. Or should it be a longtime education activist who wants the board to keep the pressure on state lawmakers for school funding? Us banding together and, and continuing to push is going to be helpful. Voters citywide will give just one candidate a passing grade this November.